Hi, just recording a quick video as to how to import multiple products into your WooCommerce store. So first I want to go over here, products, all products. So this lists all my current inventory on the store. And then I want to go down, scroll WooCommerce CSV import sweep. So this, and I'm going to come back to this screen later, both these screen laters, but now I want to show you my CSV sheets and how they're set up and how I'm going to go about importing this into my online store. So basically I have a master sheet here that basically lists me basically every single product and their image URL. This price column, this is not the correct price. So just, so this is no good. So I have product and image, product and image in this sheet. So I want to go here. I want to search stock X for a specific product. Oh, okay, here it is. The Air Force High White. Okay, the Air Force High White. And then I come over here to my parent sheet and I'm going to create a tape. I'm, I'm going to have a table like this title, status, product SKU, things like that. So I just want to go plug in the title here. I want to make it published. It's going to be in stock. Then I want to create a unique SKU based on the title. I want to cut and paste the image from over here, over here. It's a variable product. The category is Nike. These values here just cut and paste into other parent products. Uh, that's just something in the database it recognizes. And um, these sizes here, these sizes here I got right from here. So for every man and woman size found on the site, it's going to be inputted into this cell. So this US 6, US, US male seven and keep going until all the women and men sizes are added here so this and then over here i want to take note of the skew i made over here and i want to create a record for every size i placed here so this, as this is a basic example, I'm just showing, let's say I plucked out two male sizes, right? Like six to 6.5. Prices for that is, prices for that is 233 and 120. So I create two records here with the parent SKU, 233, 120. It's, I manage the stock, there's 10. The regular price is 233, 120. And the size value is a male six and a male six point five so let's say you know i add all the sizes i want from here i add it over here and i just separate it with a pipe value so let's say u.s male let's do the next one u.s male seven okay i add u.s male seven male seven and I just copy this down to here. US Mail 7, everything stays the same except besides the size and the price. So for seven, it's 103. So it's basically adding them all in this here, every size that you want to consider, and then adding the appropriate child record for it. This way, the size can be associated with its price. So, once I have prepared my sheets for import, I'm going to download and save the sheet. Oh, say I bring it right to my desktop here. So, so, so. Now I have both sheets on my desktop. Uh, sneaker, sneaker. So here, the, pro the, the parent sheet I'm going to click import. So, 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 
So here, so basically I want to go, I want to drag and drop my parent sheet here, upload the file and import. So it maps the fields automatically to the database table fields. And I'm going to, imp and now this is going to import the parent sheet. <clears throat> So it's imported. It was successful. Nike Air Force High White. So, okay, that's all good. Now the parent sheet has been imported. Now I want to go CSV import suite. I want to go back to that place. And now I want to import the variations. So each size and each price or the child products into the place. So, so I want to go boom. So, so, and upload file and import. So, so, so. And then again, it maps the fields automatically based on the shield fe sheet fields. So there, import, import successful, import complete. So I want to look at my Wool product catalog. And the stock X product was the... Uh, the white, Air Force One white. Air Force One white is now here. And it has a price range, a size tied to a price. A, 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 so basically, again, oh, the pop up window, I can't interact. But here, US Mail 6, 233, 120, 103, and the stock is 10. It created a parent product and all of its children based on the two sheets that I had set up. Um, I will forward uh, my test sheets just to see. I'm going to forward you three sheets. Um, I'm going to forward you this master sheet with each item. And then the parent and child sheet for the high white. All right, thank you. Hi, um, just de I'm detailing a second approach, um, which is another way this 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 can be done. And um, okay, so let's say I want to add the Air Force Nike high white instead of having to uh, prepare my sheets and import the two sheets. This method is a little more straightforward. I cut and paste uh, the product title here. I take the corresponding image URL here. And then here, I scroll, scroll, scroll. I make this variable product. And I go into attributes. And I'm going to call the attribute size. And then... Again, cross-reference the high white. Let's just say, yeah, this is the, the high white again. This is just a test. I'll call it high white two. And again, I'm going to do something similar to what I did with my sheets where I'm looking at the stock X website and let's say, okay, US mail six. And I want to separate each with a pipe character. So I want to save my attributes and I want to make sure these two checkboxes are checked off as well. So I'm going to go over here to variations and this is after I've inputted all the sizes that I want. So for this example, I'm only doing two of the males, but let's say this is a real product and I, and I typed out all my sizes in my product attributes separated by a pipe character. I go to variations, and then what this button click will do is generate all variations based on those attributes automatically. So it will give me two variations. So for this variation, for this particular product, I'm gonna put, this is 233 for six, and 6.5 is 120. And then I can say, okay, I want to manage the stock. I want to give each of these a stock of 10. And I want to save my changes. So, oh, my screen, something happened to my screen. And so after I'm done with that, 
I published my new High White 2 to the online store. And there I view it on the front end of WordPress. So here's my product. I'm waiting for this pop-up window. There are the price, there are the stocks. It's the same result, different approach. So I've outlined two different approaches to do the exact same thing. So I'm also looking into a third approach because I have researched and StockX has a public API and it might there might be a way to create a script where it will automatically pull data from that API and update the data tables on your WordPress site. So I'm looking into a third possible method as well. Um, all right, thank you.